hello everyone in this session we will discuss some more problems of the rh table rh criteria in that first problem is key given s plane the question is analyze the given s plane find out the rh table this is the question so in that question if you observe here uh, we have if you observe the if, if you observe here simply um, first we analyze the s plane how we are analyze the s plane first you have to look at any procedure so here we have the in the rh plane how many poles are available first thing right hand side of the plane we have the only one pole okay we have only the one pole so that's why we should have one pole means it must and have the number of sign changes is one so in a, when we are drawing the rh table sign change must be one and second is roz is not repeated because in the imaginary axis we have the poles only two poles only okay roz is only one equal to one if in the imaginary axis the poles will be repeated then roz must be two okay next number of sign changes below roz is there is no no sign changes below the roz because if any sign changes below the roz it will be another repeated pole is available another repeated pole is available okay number of sign changes below roz is zero because if any sign change is available in the below roz we have we have another pole is available here there is no pole and if you observe the four poles one two three four these are symmetric poles these are arranged in the symmetric manner okay just a symmetric poles that's why we should have the auxiliary equation so for that purpose now we will directly find out the transfer function how we will find out the transfer function the transfer function equal to, we will we will write the transfer function here so how many poles available 1 2 3 4 we have the four poles so transfer function means it's uh, zero number of zeros by number of poles here we have first pole is s of plus 1 this is the first pole s minus of minus 1 is the first pole minus of minus 1 is the first pole what is the second pole take the one yes minus 1 is the second pole what is the third pole yes minus j is the third pole next fourth pole yes minus of minus j is the fourth pole so from this i can write the transfer function is like this this is s plus 1 and this is the s minus 1 next is s minus j next is s plus j yes so by modifying this we will have by modifying this we will have s plus 1 into s minus 1 we have the s square minus 1 and s minus j into s plus j we have s square minus j square okay yes so by modifying this we have s square j square is nothing but minus 1 so a plus b into a minus b i can write s square whole square minus 1 whole square so finally we can modify this the equation is 1 by s power 4 minus 1 so this is the transfer function is given this is the transfer function is given so we are getting the transfer function from this for this table we will get the rh table how we will find out the rh table so i will write here the rh table so here the rh table is like this we have in the rh table s power 4 and s cube s square s power 1 s power 0 it start from 4 end at the 0 okay now we will write here so in this characteristic equation is s power 4 minus 1 only it has 1 s power there is no s power 3 there is no s power 2 
there is no s power 1 s power 0 as we have the only one we have only one next by doing this we will have the zero by doing this we will have the zero and so whenever whenever we are getting zeros so what we have we have one roz wherever we have the roz the simply we will go for the auxiliary equation we will go for the auxiliary equation so what is the auxiliary equation here the auxiliary equation is so we have the zero that's why the above is the auxiliary equation so now we will write the auxiliary equation the auxiliary equation equal upper value is the auxiliary equation the upper value is s power 4 s power 4 and s power 0 minus 1 s power 4 minus 1 is the auxiliary equation okay this is the s power 4 minus 1 by differentiating this auxiliary equation what we will get we will get is 4s cube minus 1 4s cube minus 1 just write this 4 and minus 1 in the zeros equation so we will have we will have the 4 this is the 4 in place of 0 you are write 4 and we have we, we have to write minus 1 here now we will proceed the same thing so again what happen here so by doing this we will get 4 into 0 4 into 0 and 1 into minus 1 by 4 so what we what we have to do here uh, simply and we have the zero here don't forget it so when we are doing the 4 into 0 and 1 into 0 by 4 what is that value directly we will get the this is the zero yes and we have the minus 1 because this is the minus 1 and whenever like this you can take it as zeta directly you can take it as the zeta so by doing this what we will get zeta into minus 1 by 4 into 0 by zeta so what is this value we can write 4 into uh, so not 4 into so zeta into minus 1 Plus one by zeta. Yeah, we have the minus zeta, minus zeta. Simply, we have zeta into minus one minus zeta. Four into minus one plus four plus into four minus one. And directly we can write minus zeta plus four by zeta. if you substitute the zeta we will get the minus 1 value so finally directly i can write this value is like this that value is actually this is not minus 1 this is not minus 1 actually this is the 4 into 0 this is only 0 and last one is the minus 1 4s cube because we did mistake here so when we are doing the differentiation we have 4s cube minus 0 that's why we have the zero here so this is only zero by doing the calculation we will get here this is a zero and this is the minus 1 and by doing this we will get we have the by doing the calculation we will get here minus 1 here and again we will have the minus 1 here so we have to satisfy positive and the positive and this is a sign change so sign change is only one one is the sign change okay rh plane is one number of sign changes is one so this is the one roz is only one this is the only one roz number of sign changes below roz is number of sign changes in below roz is so so don't don't think about this below roz value just directly just take it we have two only one sign change is there 
only one sign change is a that we it is the one value okay so no need to uh, no need to think about this just leave this point and we will understand each and everything okay right so just do this procedure you will understand each and every problem okay so this is the procedure to do whenever he is given the problem here number of sign changes below roz is is the one actually this is the one one means we have only there is no only one pole is available at the outside if there is no sign changes means there is no right hand poles there is a one pole change means we have only right hand pole okay if there is no there is no symmetric poles are available so this is not this is not creating any problem for the analyzing the rh table okay i hope all of you understand this session thank you